Well, that's what people always say. They always say that we're sad and suicidal. And yeah, I don't feel that way at all. Not you. No, Not I feel great. Yeah. I mean, yeah, give it some time. <laughs> I mean, I used to work at the Home Depot back then. I felt a little sad. With this hat off, people say, uh, oh, I bet that guy likes rock, rock music. And roll. With this hat, they're like, oh, he's got a rock collection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I had a couple of good sets early right. on, and yeah. then I started, you know, I started bombing a little bit. So then I started drinking before I went up, Uh-oh. and then I, I had some moderate success. I would bomb a little bit, have a little bit, of success, and eventually I just quit. I was like, "This is not fun." You have to bomb as a comic, oh, right? Oh, yeah. To I've learn, learned. people just seem to think that I've just always been the comic that I am now, right? And then I show them old videos of me, and they go, "Oh." And then they'll say, well, this gives me a lot of hope. <laughs> <laughs> At one time, I told a joke, and one person laughed, and it was my friend. And I, I was like, this guy gets it. And then when people <laughs> looked at him, he just turned around. <laughs> <laughs> he bailed on you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> people come up to you. They go, oh, man, that was really great. Let me buy you a drink. Let's hang out. Let's, you, bomb, you, know, tell you. you bomb like people. They go, man, it takes a lot of balls to get up there. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to somebody who was a server. She said that if you can do Cracker Barrel, you can work anywhere. I heard that too. I know girls that used to work there, they used to cry all the time. <laughs> Cracker Barrel is in New York City of restaurants. <laughs> there you go, write that down. Oh, because the menu is so large? <laughs> Subscribe, rate, and follow along at richredmond.com forward slash podcasts.